The Shroud of Turin, The Mystery Solved. All researches are wrong. In addition, the cloth is 171 inches by 39.5, not 43 inches. It is in fact two pieces of cloth meticulously stitched together by the women after the resurrection. The main area with the image is 171 times 39.5. The smaller is 171 times 3.5 inches, which is 88.8 millimeters, Jesus in Greek. The smaller was bound around the head to keep my jaw from falling open. The effects of rigor mortis sustained while hanging on the cross wears off after a few hours. The jaw drops open. The muscles here show no sign of relaxing. Pectoral muscles are taut, held high from the cross. My arms pull down to my side, are stiff. Hands show no thumb as the nail damaged a nerve causing the thumb to fold in towards the palm and the fingers clenched. This is the typical shroud. Now, the soul re-entered my body backwards, reverse as it left forward on the cross. As it passed through the cloth, the wound into my heart is on my left side. Dried blood from the cross, my right hand holding my left, the blood from the nail on my right wrist, the knee bent, calf muscle bone turned out, the right heel turned out, the foot placed on top of the left, blood from the nail through the both feet. So this is a typical image of the cross, except I have reversed it because the image is on the outside, not against my body. So the arms are pulled down to my side and the right hand fingers grab the left hand, the right leg still bent as the right foot was nailed after the left foot was nailed flat against the cross, the knee slightly bent. Still effects of the rigor mortis is seen. The right foot nailed through the left foot. The first nail not readily visible is through the left foot as it exited the heel area. The second nail through the arch of both feet. One nail through the left foot and then another through the right and passing through the arch of both feet and one through each wrist. That is four nails. This is a common idea. Wound from the spear on the right side. Like you, my heart is on the left. Blood from the nail, left wrist, left hand holding right wrist. The knee left, slightly bent. The left foot upon the right, blood from the nail. It's all in reverse. The jaw was held shut by a 171 inch by 3.5 inch wide cloth, later meticulously stitched to the larger. The area is the Hebrew word from the James Strong's Dictionary of Importance, 1830, 39 and one half inch by 171 inches is 6754.5. The five being Abba in the Aramaic origin of two, the father, Abba. Hebrew 6754 is Teslam, from an unroot, unused root meaning to shade, a phantom, an illusion, resemblance, and so a representative figure, especially an idol, image, vain, show, or a ghost. Image of the Father, Greek 5 is Abba. So what we have then is the image was burnt into the outside of the cloth that was not touching the body on the outside. On the cross I quoted Psalms. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me and from the words of my roaring? Matthew 27, 46 
And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabbatini, that is to say, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Quoting the Psalms. Mark 15.34 And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabbatini, which is being interpreted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? One is Hebrew, one is Aramaic, and Allah, Lama, Sabbatini is Greek. So it's got three languages. This image is thought to be against the body, it was not. It is the outer side burned as the soul entered through it. Keep that in mind. Here is the back. My back shows more wounds than the front, and it's seen pigtail down the back, but there is no sign of flat areas expected from the body lying flat on the stone on top of the cloth. Why? My soul had left the cross from the cross to return through the cloth, and as the cloth was flat, the bone passed through it into the body that did have pressure points, but it was coming through from the outside, so therefore the pressure points aren't shown. Flattened by my weight. So that's what happens when you lay a body on a slab. It would have pressure points. This shows no pressure points. You can see only dried blood remained on my body. Three ladies washed my body. My wife Martha, my mother Mary, and grandmother sister Mary. So you can see the crown of thorns, the Essene pigtail, massive wounds, no flat areas, dried blood from the spear left side, ran down left side, no flat area on my back, and my buttocks, right knee bent half wider due to foot arch. So this is what it looks like. The ghost is coming in from outside of the cloth and therefore leaves a print on the, of the image on the outside of the cloth. So you see the image, my soul passes through from the spiritual into the physical body to burn the cloth flat on the stone. The front side is longer following the contours of my body, no flat pressure points. The larger cloth 171 by 171 multiplied together is 29241. The Hebrew dictionary is a lamb. One is father. Width 39.5 by 39.5 is 1560.25. Acts 2.25. Him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God he have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. Delivered, Greek Dictionary, 1560, from 1537, and a derivative of 1325, given out or over, surrendered, delivered, from 1537, and derivative of 1325, that's the whole point here, surrendered, handed over. The Res Perens is 169.4, which is Emmanuel in Greek. Matthew 123, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted as God with us. This verse has a value in Greek of 888, which is Jesus. Emmanuel, Greek Dictionary 1694, 